What's going on YouTube? This is Marcus and I am back for another recap and review. Um, or I don't know, I might put this in the My Thoughts and Opinions series. But I am on here to talk about Monique's Netflix special that aired yesterday. Um, and it was entitled My Name is Monique. Now, I've always been a fan of Monique's comedy. So I'm going to say that I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, my mom watched it yesterday and she messaged me and you know was telling me that she was watching it and I, and I remember one of the first comments I said was is that I hope it's not the hey my sweet babies Monique I hope that it's the, the queens of comedy Monique the Monique that we used to seeing on stage um, but she was like yeah she still got that she still got that mouth and I was like oh, okay so yeah I'm gonna watch it so One of the main things that she talked about was the fact that um, when she was in middle school, she was in special ed. Um, she went in, went into talking about um, her family dynamic. The special ed part, that was probably about maybe like a 15, 20 minute set that she did. But I really want to get into the family dynamic and... Um, the meat of the special, I think, was close to the end. So she talks about her family down there. And one of the things that she mentioned, she, you know, paid tribute to her grandmother. And she talked about how special her grandmother was to her and how her grandmother pretty much adored her. She said that one of the things that her grandma would always tell her was that you are my prize. She mentioned that... Um, She pretty much said that, you know, she's always had love for everybody, no matter who you are or where you came, where you come from. Um, and she started talking about the LGBTQ community and pretty much was just telling them, like, don't worry about what people have to say about you. You live your life and live your truth. And, and you know, everybody can kick rocks. So she goes on to talk about how she had an uncle named Donald who was gay. Um, and she talked about how every Friday he would go down to um, the bar and he every Friday he would always get jumped and they would rob him. Now, this is the kind of thing that I th thought was kind of like, is this really what it is or this is what you're just saying because of some of the people that was in the audience and because you on TV? She's talked about how one time... Uh, how did the story go? She talked about how one time the uncle, Uncle Donald and her grandmother had got into it and he told the grandmother, eat my D-I-C-K. And so she says that when she did the comedy show years, years ago and she told Oprah, Tyler Perry and Lee, was it Lee, Lee Daniels or Spike Lee? I think it was Lee Daniels because Lee Daniels was, all, was also in the audience and she made mention of him while saying this. And she said, you know, when she was sent, told y'all to suck my D.I.C.K., she was paying paying homage to her uncle. And I was just like, really, Monique, that's what we're doing? But anyway, um, so then she goes on to talk about she had an Uncle Tina. And the reason why she calls her Uncle Tina is because she said that she had an aunt named Tina who was extremely masculine. Um, if you saw her, you would think that she was a, a, a man because she, she said she had a beard and facial hair and all of that. And she talked about how the mother was extremely judgmental. Um, well, not judgmental, but I'll say that the mother was conflicted about Tina being gay. She said that she loved Tina privately, but publicly she treated her differently. She also... Um, talked about you know pretty much saying that the church had her grandmother messed up you know the church was the reason why her grandmother couldn't love her aunt the way she needed to love her um and i think that that was something that is important to mention i will say that the church has has done a disservice to people of the lgbtq community um now you believe what you want to believe as it pertains to the bible as and 
people who are LGBTQ. I'm not, you know, here to, to debate about that. You believe what you want to believe. But I think that in the attempt to uh, how can I say this? At the end of the day, whether they're gay, straight, bi, transsexual, whatever, um, they're still a person. And I think that the church has a tendency to throw away the person along with their sexuality. That's not that's not what I want to say. I'm, I, that's not what I want to say. But I can't. It's not coming to me. I really hope I think that y'all y'all get what I'm trying to say. Maybe somebody can put it in the comment sections and put, and say it in better words, but it's just not coming to me the way I want to say it. Um but yeah, the church that's the thing that um that the church will shun more than anything else. You know, if you an alcoholic, drug addict, you know, whatever you come into the church they willing to work with you you know pray with you help get you delivered help get you set free whatever but if an lgbtq person come into church everybody looking at you sideways at it could at the end of the day they're still a person they still have feelings they still have a soul as well god loves them just as much as he loves the next person god don't love them less because because of their sexuality because of something that most of most of them were born with because of something that they can't help and so she talks about you know the the church had you know the grandmother messed up the church has broken up a lot of especially like old school church you know that strict religion there are a lot of families who are still broken up to this day because of experiences in the church and it's interesting to me like people that I follow on social media, people that I watch on YouTube, 95% of them grew up in church. And 90 and and I'll say about maybe 75% of them no longer go to church because of how they were treated because of their sexuality. You don't have to per necessarily agree with somebody's sexuality, agree with the fact that the person is gay, bi, transsexual, whatever. But you are still supposed to love that person. So anyway. Um, so yeah. The grandmother was having a hard time dealing or accepting the fact that her daughter. She, the grandma, she feels that the grandmother felt that she failed as a mother because her daughter turned out gay. Or you know was born gay or whatever the case. Like. That's not something that you can stop from happening. You can take you can take the person. I, this is my this is my this is my belief. You can take a child to church seven days a week. If the child is gay, they're gonna be gay. Now, they may try to hide the fact that they're gay or that they're bisexual or whatever, but but it's but it's in them. No matter how you. <laughs> You can't beat it out of them. Honestly, I don't feel like that's something that you can pray away. I know some some people are going to come for me in the comment sections about saying that, but I don't think that that's something that you can pray away. I when when I hear people say that they've been quote unquote delivered from homosexuality, um, I kind of, I, I kind of feel that people have been able to abstain from um, interactions with same sex. Um, I cannot get my thoughts together. I think that people can abstain from entertaining somebody of the same sex, but I don't think that. Like those feelings and that attraction, I don't think that that's something that goes away. Um, I think you just, you kind of learn how to deal with it. Ooh, y'all are going to come for me in these comments. But anyway, 
that's just the way I feel. So I think I also think that it's interesting though that now it I could be wrong, but just going off of Monique's uh set, the grandmother seen had an issue with Tina being gay, but but she didn't seem to have an issue with Donald being gay. She had more of an issue with him going out and drinking and gambling every weekend, but him being gay, she seemed to be okay with it. Um She goes on to talk about keeping secrets um, and how having secrets can eat away at you, how secrets can, holding on to secrets can cause you to get sick. Um, and so she does this whole thing about, you know, um, her having thoughts and urges and fantasies and she says that she never brought it up to her grandmother because because she didn't want to ruin or or tarnish the image that her grandmother had of her in in her eyes because like i said monique would say that the grandmother would always tell her like you are my prize the grandmother, you know, doted on her. The grandmother adored her. And so she felt like if she had a cane clean to her grandmother, especially with her grandmother being as super religious as she was, she felt like the grandmother probably would have maybe disowned her or, or treated her the same way she treated Tina. And she said that she couldn't handle that. So. She. You know, kind of. Ever she takes her time kind of easing on into what she was trying to say. So she talks about how, you know, now you know she's married to Sydney. This is their third marriage. She kind of, you know, expounded a little bit on why she calls him daddy. I still don't get that. But you know, that's their marriage, that's their business. But anyway. She said, pretty much says that they had a conversation one night, like it woke, like it was, it was on her so heavy that it woke her up out her sleep. She had to wake him up out her sleep, um, and he instantly, and he kind of knew that something was wrong, but she was always telling him like, no, nah, everything is cool, because mind you, she says they've known each other since tenth grade, and they like in their fifties now, so they've known each other a long time, even though you know she went off and you know was in relationships and married you know, two other guys before him. So, you know, she said she told him like, um, like I got a secret. It's something that, you know, that I got to tell you. Um, and he was like, okay, what is it? And she says, well, promise me once I tell you, you won't walk away from me. He says, you know, as long as you ain't killed nobody, you know, I got you. So then she tells him like, you know, I want to have sex with, you know, with, a, with, a, with, with somebody else and that somebody else is a woman. And he was like, well, girl, me too. Go find you a woman and we'll, and we'll, and we'll take her down together. Now she doesn't really, she doesn't say it in the special, but I kind of feel like maybe that that conversation kind of opened the door for them to have an open relationship. Um, If it works for you, it works for you. At least they had. At least they both have an understanding of what an open relationship is. Um, their relationship, I do believe that they probably. Well, see the type of relationship. I don't know if it will be considered an open relationship because I feel like if they bring another person into the bedroom, it's it's Monique, Sydney, and that third person is not. Monique and Monique and the person by themselves, or Sydney and the person by themselves. I think it's all like there, it's more of like a threesome. Um, well, I guess it's still technically an open relationship because you're bringing somebody else into the into the bedroom. I don't know. Either way, they got an open marriage, and they be bringing people. You know, they be you know, you know, having their fun. Um. I'm so mad, y'all, because I watched or 
I watched or listened to the Monique special while I was working. And when she got to talking about how the grandma was, how the church had her grandma messed up and had her feeling the type of way towards Tina and, you know, her, the earth, like the issues and stuff that she was having, the urges and the thoughts and stuff like that. It was so much I had in my mind I wanted to say about that, but my mind is just drawing a blank. I kind of I I kind of feel like though on one hand I feel like because of the fact that the grandmother adored Monique so much I kind of feel like the grandmother probably would have still loved Monique the same. But then on the other hand because she was super religious I feel like she probably would have condemned her to hell. Now I also feel like too that I'm wondering if if the grandmother had an issue, if the issue was with the fact that Tina was gay or was the issue, was her issue more so the fact that Tina was a stud. Now, she never mentioned whether or not Donald was, you know, a masculine gay or if he was a feminine gay. But I'm wondering if Tina being gay was more so or the grandmother's issue was more so the fact that Tina was a stud than the fact that she was gay. Um, because I kind of feel like from the heterosexual world I feel like women who are studs get more judgment than women who are femme and also in from the male perspective men who are masculine get more judgment or more side eyes i guess you can say than the than the gay men who are masculine i could be wrong but i i feel like that that's probably what it is but anyway y'all overall i give the special i'll say four i'll say 4.5 out of five stars but like I said, overall, I thought it was really, really good. I thought that she looked really well. There were a lot of, uh, she had a lot of her celebrity friends in the audience. I know, but like I said, I wasn't really watching it. I was listening to it, but I did see T.S. Madison and Mo in the audience. I saw Lee Daniels in the audience. Um, and it was a couple other people. I can't think of their names, but I would definitely encourage y'all to go on Netflix and check it out. Um, I think that you will enjoy it. Like I said, this this is the Queens of Comedy Monique. It wasn't the Hey My Sweet Babies Monique. Um, but anyway, if you have seen it, comment down below and tell me what y'all thought about it. Um, if you have any comments about some of the topics that I spoke about, like I said, my mind is, I couldn't get my thoughts together, but maybe some of y'all can help expound on what it, you know, maybe y'all understood what I was trying to say and y'all can help expound on it in the comments. But anyway, be sure to give this a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so, and turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified whenever I post content to this channel. Also, be sure to share this video on your social media platforms, and I will talk to y'all later.